Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in this world. This is Alex. Today is July 23rd, 2018. How are you guys all doing today? Sorry I haven't made any videos. Uh, I've been trying to get my health uh, back together. I've been trying to do this um, food grade peroxide stuff. Uh, let me tell you, it's kicking my butt, but it's it's helping out. You guys got to try it out. Whoever says you guys can't drink peroxide, don't believe them. 35% is the most your body can handle, so you drink anything between 30-25% and you guys will be okay. And it'll fight any bacteria, any affection, anything you have in you. It'll make your body have turn from an acidic to alkaline within a week. Alright guys, I got you guys here. I got us a, a subscriber, an amateur astronomer somewhere down south that's actually catching some pretty good anomalies. They're saying they're catching objects that are not our systems. They don't belong in our system. Like I said, don't know they could probably be the moons of, of, of you know, like uh, Saturn or Jupiter and all. Because since we're lined up, you know, it could be them or not. But I thought I'd share this with you guys. Sorry, you guys are getting my uh, notifications. I have to do this because I don't get it on my phone. Okay, here you go. I got an object right here. I just want to share this with you guys. It says he's been capturing some objects out there down south. You got this one again. He's been saying he's been capturing. Me capturing these objects right here. Like this one right here. This was awesome. When I saw that, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah, I seen this one right here. And this one. This one. This one is the one he said it was throwing all kinds of debris as you can see he says it he said it throws all kinds of rocks debris out pretty good guys I don't know don't know if these are part of our uh the could be the planet X system Nem nemesis system could be in the moons of the of the of the system or it can be even the moons of some of our uh so called uh planets out there that we have such as Saturn and Jupiter since they have more I'm just reporting what my subscribers give me so I'm sharing the photographs pretty good awesome photo photographs I got right here then we're starting to see uh, some people are starting to see this up in the sky now you know they're saying they're starting to see different colors anomalies like that in the sky then someone said they saw they were out on on a vacation so they said they saw the sun dogs but then they didn't realize when they went back they took a look they're like hey is these your lens arrays and I'm like oh yeah you can see them real good you see the way the lens right here the turning you know I just thought I'd share sh share with you guys this you know I wasn't the only cat caught this it was my subscriber so heads up Carla this is hold on let me see if I go back yeah this is the one that made me trip out like what the heck was this guys you know what's this it's so weird you know I'm still tripping out on that you know is that part of the cloaking system could be I'm still tripping out on this one and then we got this one right here the reason why I'm sharing with you guys this one I understand you guys are saying oh Alex why are you showing me nothing but lens flares why are you showing me all that and the sun dog it's not a sun dog that's a comet just to let you guys know. The reason why I'm showing you guys that because this is a green green object I believe I showed you guys that's right here. Right here, you know the, the refraction of the object. I believe that to be the ob one of the objects of the planet X system, the green the green planet. And then like Jeff me Jeff P and me it kept saying there's lens arrays by the sun and lens arrays are electric ma magnetic. They could do whatever they want, their pulse, whatever, pl plasma. Well here it is. Here's your lens arrays being generated through plasma <laughs> you guys don't want to believe us but it's okay then you got this one right here get an object right here an object right there I believe these two to be the two twins that were seen in, uh, in FFA webcams being straight honest these are actually being seen by our, our son Someone caught him. I was shocked when I seen these. I was like, these are not lens flares. These are not lens flares, guys. Wow. I may use this one as my front cover. My thumbnail. Then you got this one today. Someone caught an object right here. You can see right here by the sun. I don't think that to be a, a lens array at all. Then you got an anomaly right here. Here's our sun, our moon. Here's an object here, but... There's an object right here. And I got another confirmation of that object being right there, right by the moon. Because that's supposed to be Jupiter right here, actually. Uh, let me show you guys right now. Here's the object again. 
Now here's the object right here that I was showing you guys. You guys may think like, oh, it's just a little smudge, just a little piece of sky. No, it's not. I'm gonna show you guys right now. There it is. Here's this, here's your moon. Here's Jupiter. But here's your object right there. <laughs> Should I tell everybody these objects are there? They're there. Some of these are actually uh, high uh, cloaked with our. Uh, they're actually the same color as our atmosphere. That's the reason why we can't see some of them. Then you got this right here by the moon, and you can see your spaceship. Here's your spaceship right here, and then here's an object right here by the moon. Crazy, huh, guys? Then here's the same object right here. Here's Jupiter. Here's our moon, Jupiter, and here's our object right here. Then here's our sun, so-called, and here's our object again right here. Showing up the red, or that little red object that we see. There's an object here by the ISS. Could be a our ascent simulator. Look at the way hexagonal shape. Could be something. Someone saw this moon, the sun like this. So what they did, they just did a little, uh, you know, I guess they said a little brush up and everything, so they could go ahead and let let me see the way they saw the moon, the, the sun itself. I keep calling it the moon, the sun itself. This is what they did. They said they saw the sun go down and they said they saw plasma or they saw the way the rays and everything looked. And I was like, oh, that was awesome, guys. Then how can you get two moons? Tell me this. How? How is that possible? How is this possible, guys? Here we go again. How is this possible, you know? Come on now. How is that possible? <laughs> Then we got this one right here, uh, this color here with this moon. I think it could probably be a reflection of that reflection. Then you got this big, huge object that someone took today that was right here by the ISS, the striped planet, big old huge object by the by the Earth. Whew, look at that, it's huge. Then if somebody tell me this because they caught this object right here, you're gonna see it. It's right there. It's pretty big too. There it is, right there. That's the object. There's the object again. That's the other one that I just do to blow it up. You can make the object out right there. Then you got this lightning right here that I started showing with you guys. You know, you got uh, your moon and Jupiter right here with some lightning. It was happening in Illinois. They had uh, some type of weather. Okay, so then right here we have our uh, moon with an object. Another object. Actually, I think it's Saturn. Then you have another object right here. Then you got a straight line going up like a UFO went straight, shot up. I got another picture of this too. It's right here again. You can see your object again. Your object's right here. This time you got an object right here. Look, right there. That's your object. Look at. <laughs> That's why I told you that that blue object that uh that they seen is right there. It's, it's uh camouflage. Look at, and you got two light sources. Come on, guys. Come on now. Come on now. Then you got uh like I said, you, uh that blue one's uh blends blends in with our atmosphere. We can't see that one. We want to get to see that one that gets covered with clouds. Then you got another two light sources right here. You can see your your reflection. Then again, guys. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> then you got this again, that. Could be a lens flare. But then that is not a lens flare. That's 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 not a lens flare. See all that? And then you got this one right here. Object right here. With that object right here. And then when you turn this one, you can see it again. Like I said, sometimes I don't even do this uh, brightness and contrast. My subscribers do this for me, so I don't have to worry about doing it because they know I don't like doing it. 
Then you got an object right here, another green object that I just showed you guys earlier, right here. Then you got this red object. Then you got Jupiter right here. So, you guys tell me. Two light sources. You got a comet, object. Then you got another object way down here, another comet. Could be one of the stars. Then you have this right here, another stars. Then you have your so-called moon with Jupiter. And what's this object right here? That's Jupiter right there, okay? So-called moon with Jupiter. And what's this right here? See, so you got the, another object right here. Another object. Got an object there, object there, and right there, and right here. <laughs> another light source here, moon. Another light source. What's another light source up here? Okay, guys. Okay. Now we make this up. We do all this stuff ourselves. You got another light source right there. And then you got this light source that comes up right here. And they've been catching with the debris, they said, with the little red red object and the blue object right here. Has other moons and stars around it, but who knows what this could be. Then we got this object here by the moon. Could be Jupiter. Could be even Venus, or it could be even something, but it has a hole in it. Look at it. You got this object right here that looks like it has a light source. Look. <laughs> That's Jupiter right there. This is Comet Panstar uh, C 2017 S3. It has objects traveling with it. You see one, two, three. It has like seven objects traveling with it. You got another one again. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven objects traveling with it. You see it? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's counting all over again. One, two, three, four, five, six. It only has six, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight objects. Eight objects with it. Dang. And that's Panstar C 2017 S3. The one that uh, that's supposed to be coming by August, uh, I think, 5th through the 10th, 9th, or something like that. It's going to be visible, but I think, for like for a week or 10 days. People are able to capture this with telescopes. If you're able to have telescopes and you're at the right place at the right time, people are capturing this. There it is again. fiction agent and we're back again ladies and gentlemen i don't know what more less to tell you guys what more to do what more to say all i have to tell you guys i just hope every one of you guys is right with jesus just right with god and jesus that's it i pray that you guys get right with jesus i'm gonna pray for you guys right now lord i come to you and ask you to look after my subscribers look for everyone out there look help everyone um hear their heart feel their heart see what they need help them out help them progress grow help them understand what's right from wrong out there from you know the right of what i'm trying to get at is in the right information and the wrong information help them understand see what the truth is and what they could you know decipher the faults to the truth i ask you to come in them help them get them closer to you bring them closer to you Help them understand. Save them. Bless them. Pure your, pure your love and s kindness. All that into them. Let them know you. it's okay. It's okay to be frightened. We were all there at one time. Not anymore. I just ask you to look after every one of them. Bring them closer to you. Save them. Help them. In your name, Jesus. I love you.
Amen. Thank you, guys. Take care, guys. God bless.